something very interesting. Something that's happened right away, uh, and some of that took place when we were at the game yesterday. But Brian Reynolds, this whole offseason, a lot of discussion. Are you going to trade him? Are you going to extend him? I mean, he's a top five center fielder. Now, all of a sudden, he's a left fielder. <laughs> um, I, again, it's been interesting so far, but every game he started, he's been in left field. So, albeit it's early in spring training, again, keep talking, handful of games, but is there something you're taking away from this right now, Jim? Man, I think, um, I mean, I think as of right now, Brian Reynolds is a left fielder. I don't know. Like, I mean, Jack Sawinski has been playing center field pretty much every single time Reynolds has been in the lineup Mm -hmm. um, and Reynolds has been in left or he's DH'd. Um, They were talking, they they were doing, showing videos from camp and Reynolds is taking, you know, drills from left field, not center field. So I don't know. um, I mean, obviously we'll see here in the next week or so if this continues um, and, you know, if he, if he stays in left field this whole spring, then you just got to kind of assume he's your, he's your left fielder going forward. But yeah, as of right now, we have yet to see Brian Reynolds who, you know, many regard as a top five or six center fielder in major league baseball. We've yet to see him in center field. So uh, just an interesting development. I think it's just kind of, funny the timing of it you could argue this this is this is best for the team and and i think you could definitely make that argument out of the the 30 center fielders who played 500 or more innings last year in center field in major league baseball uh brian reynolds ranked last in defense on fan graphs so uh it definitely makes sense that he could play left field i could kind of see maybe like a timeshare going forward this is just kind of me thinking ahead Maybe Brian Reynolds is the left fielder against righties when Swinsky's in the game. Mm. And then against lefties when Swinsky's not playing, Reynolds, you know, moves into center and, you know, Connor Joe or somebody plays plays left field. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. But right now, Reynolds hasn't been a, uh, been a center fielder yet this spring. Right. Yeah, it's one of those things too, right? It's, it's early, so they could just be – trying to see something or it's not like he needs the reps in left field. The guy came up as a left fielder. I mean, let's start a few years back where we were talking having a discussion of is Brian Reynolds going to be a center fielder? Like this doesn't sound like a good idea, but by default he kind of has to be, but you know, I'm not sure if he has the defense to be there and he actually played a really good center field for us that one year. And it's like, okay, forget it. He's good. He can play center field. Um, and last year it wasn't that good. So like how you said, it kind of makes sense that like him going to left field isn't like the end of the world. It's not like, oh my God, how are you dicking over this player? Like it makes sense. It's just that is there really a guy here to take center field from him? Like, think about Kutch and Marte. I mean, Marte, it just screamed. Like, I mean, that guy put him in center. He belongs there. And like, I don't see that this year in this club. It's not like there's someone that really pushed him off. Now, albeit Sawinski had favorable measures last year, but kind of like the year with, you know, with Brian Reynolds in center field, like that surprised us. Like he wasn't known mm-hmm. for his defense. Now that the, the, the uh, underlying numbers, like kind of show like he, he was, he was good defensively out there and yep. he played center field a little bit last year. So like I can maybe understand it, but still like Swinsky isn't that guy for me to push off my star player from center field. Um, so that's, what's a little interesting to me. Um, but again, like I'm okay with it. It, it kind of makes sense defensively if Sawinski can, you know, play it that well. Um, but yeah, so far, like nothing in center. Uh, I'm wondering how mm-hmm. long this goes into spring training to kind of give us that caveat of like, this is, this is legit. So I guess more or less what you're saying is just keep an eye out on it for right now. Keep an eye out on it. Um, and I think it, it kind of gives us an idea that, you know, I think Sawinski definitely has the the inside track, you know, out of all these guys when it comes to that, mm-hmm. you know, who's who's going to be starting in the outfield. Um, yeah, you mentioned, like, pushing Reynolds off. Like, you would think that maybe somebody like Swaggerty, right, with his defensive abilities, if he were to 
to, you know, take the reins on a starting job someday. Like he could maybe do it, but yeah, Sawinski's not who you would think of your, you know, your tro- prototypical center field type type defender. But again, he did play well according to the metrics out there last year. So it could be something that they're going to try. But, you know, Brian Reynolds also played well according to the refer- the metrics two years ago. He was just really bad last year. So, right. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. Just some, again, something to keep an eye on. Hasn't played center field yet this spring. So if that continues, God imagine he's the left fielder. Hey, you all, thank you for watching. I know we try to provide the most entertaining content that we can, uh, and we'd love to spread it to as many people as possible. So uh, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you could take the five seconds to like this video and subscribe to the page, it helps out so much more than you know. Thank you, and let's go Bucks.